Hey guys, the biggest question for those who want to move to Ireland is how do I find a job in Ireland? What kind of jobs are even available and more importantly, which companies are ready to sponsor work visas? These are all the questions that might pop up in your mind when you think about working in Ireland. And let's suppose you apply to a lot of jobs thinking you'll find something eventually, but if the companies you apply to aren't ready to support visa sponsorship, then there is no point at all. All your time and effort goes wasted. That's why in this video I'm going to share the companies that are sponsoring work visas in Ireland to foreign talent in 2024. There are around 3500 companies that have sponsored visas to foreign workers so far already this year, which is a pretty big number to be honest. And if you're planning to move to Ireland and land a good job, make sure you watch this video till the end. Let's get started. While I was researching to gather data for this video, I was really surprised. I was really happy to see that there are so many companies that are sponsoring visas considering the current job market scenario and this is fantastic news for foreign talent like you the fact that around 3500 companies have already sponsored visas to foreigners just in these 5 months of this year means there's a lot of potential for the rest of the year to come a lot more companies will be looking to sponsor foreigners rest of this year which is great news for all of you When it comes to nationalities and job sectors, I'll share with you the top five nationalities and sectors that secured these work visas. Let's look at the top five nationalities first. Number one, India. So there are around four thousand nine hundred and seventy-eight work visas issued so far to people from India. Number two is Brazil with one thousand five hundred and fifty-one visas. Number three is Philippines with one thousand three hundred and fifty visas. And number four is China with five twenty-six visas. And number five, South Africa with five hundred visas so far. Now also let's look at the top five job sectors. Number one is health and social sector with four thousand eight sixty-eight visas so far. Number two is information and communication sector with two thousand three hundred and sixty-seven visas. Number 3 is agriculture, forestry and fishing with 1207 visas. Number 4 is accommodation and food services with 927 visas and finally the fifth one is financial and insurance sector with 728 visas so far. And before I talk about the top 10 companies, let's briefly go over two important work permits you should know about if you're looking to work in Ireland. The first one is the Critical Skills Employment Permit which is also called as the CSEP and the General Employment Work Permit which is GEP. Let's talk about the critical skills employment permit first. This work permit is aimed at highly skilled workers in professions where there is a shortage of skills in Ireland. And here's what you need to know in terms of eligibility. You need to have a job offer that pays you at least 38,000 per annum and listed on the critical skills occupation list. I'm attaching the critical skills list in this video description for your reference. Uh, or you need to have a job offer that pays you 64,000 euros per annum and that should not be under the ineligible occupations list. Again, I'm adding this list in the video description below. and you also must have a relevant third level qualification like a degree as a minimum in some cases work experience alone can help but majority of the times you need a degree to be eligible for this kind of a work visa and you also need a 2 year employment contract which is a minimum for the critical skills employment permit and let's talk about some benefits now your family can join you immediately and your spouse or partner can work without an employment permit and after 21 months of your work you can also apply for a stamp 4 irish residence permit which allows you to work for any employer without an employment permit now let's talk about the general employment permit the general employment permit is more flexible and applies to a wider range of jobs let's talk about the eligibility first so you need a job that pays you at least 34000 euros per annum and there are certain roles like healthcare assistants and home carers who have different salary thresholds and the job must not be on the ineligible occupations list again and the employer must also comply with the 5050 employee rule which states that companies cannot have more than 50% of its employees from outside the european economic region and some key things to note in this general employment work permit are after your first year of employment your family can join you in ireland and your spouse or partner must apply for an employment permit to work unless you're a doctor with a stamp 1h visa and for you after 57 months of work you can apply for a stamp 4 irish residence permit and if you're a doctor with stamp 1h you can apply after 21 months and there is also an additional requirement for this work visa which is a labor market needs test which means employers also need to prove that they've tried to fill this position with an irish or european citizen by advertising the job for at least 4 weeks across various public platforms both permits offer great path to work and live in ireland the critical skills employment permit is ideal for highly skilled roles with faster path to permanent residency while the general employment work permit provides more flexibility across a wider range of jobs but with reduced benefits and longer wait time to apply for a 
Stamford, which allows you to have more flexibility in terms of working for any employer without limitations. And now moving to the next part of this video about companies sponsoring work visas. While I can't cover all the 3500 companies in this video, I will go through the top 10 companies that are sponsoring visas and specifically the top 10 tech companies. A lot of people are showing interest in the tech space. So I'm covering the top 10 in the tech sector in this video. And if you want the full list of 3500 companies that are sponsoring visas in 2024 in Ireland, drop a note in the comments below and I'll share this info with you. Then you can analyze the companies in detail on your own and apply for relevant rules. Now let's dive into the top 10 companies. I'll share with you how many visas these 10 companies have issued so far and what each company does and some of the sample rules they're hiring for. Number one, Google. So Google has issued 171 visas so far and Google Ireland serves as the company's headquarters for the EMEA region, focusing on services like AdWords, cloud computing and more. Some of the sample roles they hire for are software engineer, systems manager, data analyst and product marketing manager. Number two is Deloitte. They've issued 98 visas so far and Deloitte offers audit, consulting, financial advisory, risk management and tax services to enterprise customers. Some of the roles they hire for are management consultant, cyber security specialist, IT consultant and financial advisor. Number three is Amazon Development Center. They've issued 93 visas so far and this center focuses on cloud computing technology and personalized e-commerce services, particularly for the Amazon Web Services and Amazon Alexa platforms. Some of the roles they hire for are cloud support engineer, software development engineer, solutions architect and machine learning specialist and machine learning scientist. Number four is Boston Scientific Company. They've issued 92 visas so far and they're a leading manufacturer of medical devices used in interventional medical specialities. Some of the roles they hire for are quality engineer, production supervisor, regulatory affairs specialist and clinical research associate. Number five is Intel. They've issued 76 visas so far and they focus on fabrication of silicon chips and research in new technologies. Some of the roles they hire for are process engineer, electrical engineer, mechanical engineer and software developer. Moving on to six, which is Accenture. They've issued 73 visas so far and they provide consulting and processing services to global clients across various industries, focusing on digital transformation and operational efficiency. They hire for consulting analyst, blockchain developer, data scientist, and cloud consultant. Number seven is Cognizant. They've issued 70 visas so far, and they offer IT services, including consulting, information technology, and outsourcing services. They hire for IT project manager, systems analyst, business analyst, and software developer. And number eight is Intel Research and Development. This is the research wing of the Intel. They've issued 69 visas so far, and they engage in cutting edge research for next generation technologies that support Intel's product development. Some of the roles they hire for are research scientist, semiconductor engineer, hardware developer, and advanced process engineer. Number nine is TCS Tata Consultancy Services. They've issued 61 visas so far. They're a global leader in IT services, consulting and business solutions, leveraging next generation technology to provide top services. Some of the roles they hire for are IT consultant, business process analyst, system integrator, and software developer. And finally, our 10th company is Meta Platforms. They've issued 49 visas so far, and they are the main hub for Facebook's non-US operations, focusing on international sales and data privacy management. And they hire for community operations analyst, data protection officer, policy enforcement manager, and ad specialist. And here's a small suggestion from me. When applying to a company, don't apply to more than two jobs at the same time, because if you apply for too many roles, hiring managers might think that you're not clear about what kind of job you need, creating a negative impression. So I would suggest you to apply for two jobs that you feel are a good fit and just wait for the interview results from the company. Also, once you secure a job and if the company supports visa sponsorship, that's well and good. But sometimes they might ask you if you can sponsor yourself. And don't worry if this happens. What they mean is that you need to pay for the visa fees and submit the documents yourself. Of course, the company will provide you support with the documentation. But there are situations where the company might sometimes ask you to apply on your own and, and they would they even reimburse the visa fees. This happens because some companies don't have resources in their HR department who can apply for visas on behalf of you. And that's the reason sometimes they might ask you to self-sponsor. And if asked, it's not an issue, you can sponsor yourself. And that brings me to the end of this video. I hope you found this video helpful. If so, please, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more such content. And it will definitely help me as a creator. All the very best and see you in the next.